There was once a great king whose wish for a child was granted. Now, now, my little princess, don't cry. You've made me such a happy father. You can't imagine how very much I love you. Mm. <laughs> oh, my, what a joy you are to me. What a beautiful little girl you are. Now, we must have a banquet honoring this occasion so that my subjects can celebrate the birth of my daughter, the Princess Briar Rose. Why, that is a wonderful <laughs> idea, my lord. And whom do you wish to invite to the banquet, sire? The entire kingdom! Ah! We shall have a feast more splendid and magnificent than we've ever had before. Make all the necessary preparations and be sure to tell everyone that they are welcome. But, sire, that means inviting the 13 witch sisters. La, 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 la. <laughs> Fine, my good man. Just hurry up and get started. But the witches must be served on golden plates. Oh, must they? <gasps> well, what of it? I didn't mean to disturb you, my darling. This bumbling fool here upset me. Come now, let's go and see your mother. But sire, we have 12 plates of gold and there are 13 sisters. Then leave one off the list. Well, I suppose one of them wouldn't mind. So the king's messenger delivered the 12 invitations to the witch sisters. An unpleasant task indeed, for their castle was said to be haunted. And rumor had it that the witches could change themselves into all sorts of horrifying creatures. Hello? Is anybody here? I bring messages from His Majesty the King. I'm getting out of here! Well, girls, I guess we'll have to go back to our old selves again. Now hurry up. I can't wait to find out what this is all about. Why would the king send a special messenger to deliver these? Oh, it says a princess has been born. I've been invited to attend the banquet. I'm also invited. Wonderful. And, and me. And one for me. Oh, oh what a wonderful Oh, I know. Oh, I'm insulted me and now we will feel the sting of my anger! Hear ye, hear ye! Come one, come all to His Majesty's Royal Banquet in honor of the newborn princess, Briar Rose! <laughs> Your Majesty, we are grateful for having been invited to this banquet and wish to bestow our magical gifts upon your lovely daughter. We are happy to receive them. Do come forward. To the princess who will one day rule this kingdom, eternal virtue. Oh. I will present her with a gift of magnificent riches. Oh. And I endow her with wisdom. She shall have everlasting beauty. And now, Your Majesty, I shall bestow the gift of peace upon your child. Someone do something to stop it! Guards! Guards! And now, because you have insulted me, Your Majesty, I will show you how magnificent my powers are, and I will cast a spell upon the young and innocent princess. Let it be known that on her 15th birthday, the princess will prick her finger on the needle of a spinning wheel spindle and fall into a deep sleep forever. <laughs> oh, horrors, what a terrible thing this witch has done. <laughs> oh, dear, what are we going to do? <laughs> there must be someone who can help her. Someone who can break the spell? <laughs> oh, won't you use your powers to save the princess from this terrible fate? Your Majesty, because her powers are greater than mine, I won't be able to break the spell, but I can perhaps lessen its effect and change the outcome. Oh, please, I beg you. You're the only one who can save her. You must do something to spare my daughter from the horrible fate which awaits her. You must not cry, my queen. I promise you, I will save the fair princess. 
Then the spell can be broken. If that be true and our daughter's safety is assured, we will be eternally grateful. Cauldron full of witches' potion. Send your magic across the ocean and help change this evil spell. Thus to make this baby well. So when she pricks her finger on the spindle, her fire will again be kindled. When a brave prince, young and strong, hears Milady's song. The princess is free from the witch's curse. <laughs> Do you hear that a good witch saved the princess after an evil spell had been cast upon her? Thank goodness. <laughs> Don't you understand that my spell can never be broken? That very day, the king ordered every spindle in the kingdom to be burned and forbade anyone to speak of the evil curse. Only then did he feel that his child could grow up in safety. Now, my precious daughter, there's nothing for you to be afraid of. But in an old forgotten chamber in the tower of the castle, the evil witch had secretly hidden the last remaining spindle. <laughs> and then on her 15th birthday, why is my daughter sitting there alone? This is your 15th birthday, my child. This party is in your honor. Why don't you come and join us? But the princess didn't hear a word. Her thoughts were sad and her heart was lonely. For the king, her father, mightily concerned for his beloved daughter's safety, had never allowed her to leave the palace. So she played her harp and dreamed of the day she'd be free. One day I know you'll come and we'll be so happy together. <sighs> At moments such as these, she tried to picture that special someone who would someday fulfill her dreams of happiness. My child, you must come downstairs at once. Hello, Father. I have a new song. Would you like me to play it for you? Indeed not. We have many guests who came to celebrate your birthday, and they expect you to join the party, so let's not keep them waiting. But I don't feel like going, Father. Be that as it may, everyone has brought such beautiful presents that you simply must be there to accept them. If not, we'll merely have to return everything they've given you. I don't want presents. I want to stay here and finish writing my song. Oh, is that so? What should I tell them? Thank you for your lovely presence, but I'm afraid the princess can't be bothered right now. Perhaps you'd like to tell everybody to come back again when you're feeling better. Oh, I'm sorry, Father. Ah, this is the last time. You hear me? Refusing to attend her own party. <laughs> All she ever does is play that harp of hers. Is anything wrong, dear? You look as if there's something troubling you. Well, I've been thinking. Perhaps I've been too strict with the princess lately. We must be patient, my dear husband, and accept the fact that our little baby girl has grown up. Maybe you're right. When she was young, we were so close, but now... I'm not a child anymore! It's as though she were a stranger. The princess spent the entire afternoon trying to complete her song. But somehow... The melody continued to elude her. Why won't the rest of it come to me? Oh, how I wish someone would hear this song and follow it to this place. Someone will come. I know it, even if I have to keep playing forever. So she continued to play, wishing that her song would drift out across the vast blue sky and be heard by someone she did not know and had never met. And when she tired, she went for a walk through the thick rose gardens that grew beneath her bedroom window. And though she'd done this many times before, she felt somehow that this day was different. Beautiful Rose, I have your name, but not the freedom you have to grow up in open spaces. Ouch! I stuck myself! Listen, there's someone inside playing the rest of my song. It seems to be coming from this old part of the castle that isn't used anymore. I've got to find out who it is that knows the song so well and can play it with such ease. It's so strange. It seems like that room is getting farther and farther away. <sighs> I 
don't know how to explain it. I feel like I've been here before. Briar Rose. That voice, it sounds so familiar. You must not go any further. Keep away, Briar Rose. Keep away. Turn around. Turn around. There is danger here. Danger. Oh. <sighs> what am I doing in this part of the castle? How did I come to be here? It seems as though I had a bad dream or something like that. I better hurry and get back to my room before Father gets home. that brought me here. Now, I must know who's playing that harp. Oh. Oh. Uh, excuse me, but I thought I heard someone playing a harp. Beware, beware, beware. I don't mean to bother you, but was it you playing that song a few minutes ago? My child, I love to play, but I have so much work and so oh. little time to do it that I rarely get a chance anymore. You see, whenever I take the time to play my harp, my work builds up and then I have to spin my wheel twice as fast in order for me to catch up. If you could just teach me that melody you were playing, I've been trying to finish it for ever so long. Please? What about my work? If you'll teach me that melody, I'll be happy to do your work for you while you're playing the harp. All right. I'll show you. Thank you very much. You're such a kind woman. Now just tell me what I'm supposed to do first. Hold this. And now my spell is upon you, and at last I have my revenge. So sleep well, my pretty princess, for you will never awaken. <laughs> the princess was asleep, and so strong was the evil witch's spell that everyone within the castle walls and those inhabiting its royal grounds and gardens were put to sleep as well. around the castle there began to grow a great hedge of thorns and when it stopped the wind fell and not a leaf could be seen to stir and so it shall remain for all time we must try and do something to save our fair princess from this terrible spell that is upon her i say we storm the palace and rescue everyone inside now men to the palace walls So it was, those who came near the castle and tried to rescue those inside were caught up in the spell as well. But the story of this sleeping beauty inside the castle spread throughout the land, bringing other would-be rescuers from places far and wide who thought they could succeed where those who'd gone before had failed. What's wrong with you weaklings? Now stand back and just watch me and I'll show you how to break this gate down. Then the beautiful princess shall be mine, all mine! I don't believe it! Look out, let me try it! Try as they might, no one could break through and enter the palace to save the sleeping princess. And while nothing ever changed or moved within, outside the castle walls, the seasons came and went and life went on in the usual way, even though the people sorely missed their beloved royal family. Things just haven't been the same around here since that spell was cast upon the castle. Well, maybe someday someone will come along who can make everything change back to the way it was before, and then our kingdom will be a happy place again. But who and when will he come? And then one day, a very special day, 
a young prince decided to embark on a great adventure, a journey far from the forest that was his home. Yeah! Run, Thunderbolt! Something lies ahead beyond that ridge! Seeking shelter from the storm, the brave prince came upon the castle. Whoa! Strange. It seems like there hasn't been anyone around here for years. It looks so much like the castle I've been dreaming about. My dream is always the same. I enter a royal chamber and hear a lovely melody being played on a harp. And then I see her. She is so beautiful. Oh, my brave prince, I'm so glad you've come to hear me play my song. Wait, is it possible that my dream could come true? Whoa, Thunderbolt! There's nothing that will keep me from getting inside now. What's this? A rose in the dead of winter? How could this be? Huh? I am Briar Rose, and I've been waiting for you for a very long time. I must still be dreaming. At that moment, the storm suddenly cleared, and the gates of the castle opened wide. No, this is no dream, I'm sure of it. After all this time, my dream has finally become a reality. Aha! <laughs> now I'll find the answer to this mystery. The time has come! What could have caused such a thing to happen? It's as if everyone fell asleep at the same time, even the king and queen. From the looks of things, it must have happened a very long time ago. That key, I recognize it from my dream. Hello? Is anyone here? Oh. oh. She's here. The girl I've dreamed of. She's even more beautiful than I imagined. She's in such a deep sleep. How shall I awaken her? Perhaps a gentle kiss. <clears throat> Look, the color is coming back into her face. Huh? The thorns, they're falling away. How long I've waited for this moment! My prince, you have finally come. Yes. I knew that somehow my song would reach you, my darling, and that it would bring the two of us together. And so we shall remain forever and ever. So Briar Rose and the young prince sealed their pledge with a kiss. The hedge of thorns turned into a lovely bed of roses and all the blossoms which hadn't bloomed in years suddenly came to life. Then the young lovers began to dance to the melody which the princess had played and the prince had heard so many years ago. And as they danced, everyone in and about the castle awakened, as if no time had passed at all. Whatever is going it's on with us? Ah, hey, look out! As I was about to say, we must find a way to... Oh, oh my goodness, what in blazes is going on around here? Yeah. Oh, that oh, was what? Hey, you... Wake up, everybody! Wake up! Now, when the king realized all that had happened, he immediately called for another feast. And the prince and princess were married. Of course, everyone was invited to the wedding, including the witch sisters. All except one, that is. The evil witch was sent away and was never heard from again. And Briar Rose and the prince were as happily in love as two people could ever hope to be. Well, one thing's for certain, we aren't going to need much sleep tonight. Yes, you have had a rather long nap. <laughs> <laughs> so once again throughout the kingdom, there was happiness and peace, and a definite abundance of love.